I think more of you need to realize that being a can save your life. Okay, you have no idea who this man really is if you're constantly nice and kind and just so considerate of his feelings. You can't reject anything that he's saying. You can't disappoint him. You need to challenge his ego. You don't know who he really is until his ego is challenged, until you are the obstacle between him and him having his way with you. What does that even mean? And what are you actually talking about? Challenges ego? Because it sounds to me that you basically what you're saying is push the man and push the man and push the man until he reaches a breaking point and see how he's reacting. He's going to react to that. And and you said have your have his way with you. What are you saying? That implies a lot of things. Have his way with you. Uh, that language is is very very uh very strong. Men do very very dangerous nasty things to women. Some men do very dangerous and nasty things to women when they feel disappointed, when they feel rejected, and when they feel like you're in the way of them getting what they want. Nasty things. Like what? I mean, she is ve she is implying a lot of negative stuff towards men here. A lot. So I'm not saying be this completely nasty person, but you need to you need to have some standards. And you need to stick with them. Your safety is way more important than hurting this man's feelings. I would rather a man be disappointed for not having his way with you and for moving on right then and there in that moment when he sees that, oh, this, you know, this girl, she's got it. She's got it down packed. I'm intimidated by this. I'm just going and try to find my next victim. It's better to hurt that man's feelings right then and there where there are witnesses in an open space rather than you're in private and it's three months in and he's obsessed with you just always giving him his way and now you have an ax in your chest. Now you've been forced to do something you don't want to do. I need y'all to lock in. And you need to know, even in the face of adversity, is your man a problem solver or is he just going to whine about it? And in the midst of his frustration, does he still treat the people around him with dignity and respect? Or does he take it out on them? These are things you need to know before month one. What kind of sick dream world shit is this? This is crazy. Man having his way. A woman waking up with an ax in his chest. Doing, doing something to a man or making a man show himself in a public place. All of this fear crazy type of thinking is this what a lot of young women are out there thinking now it, it, it is so sad it is crazy you know there's a lot of things that people do to other people that will make you look and say well how could anybody do that to another human being but to sit and imply that men are, are doing this type of thing on a regular basis or doing something crazy like that on a regular basis or women for that part. It's just ridiculous. It's just taking fear to the extreme. And it's, it's, it's a dangerous game to play because you don't want to test someone, especially if you don't really know them. And, and that's a good thing to remember because she's saying test them and test the ego. What if you test a maniac? What if your game ends up with you not being here anymore because you decided that you want to test? You know, there's a lot of things that make people snap. And there's a such a thing called, you know, being insane in a moment, too. So I would advise all you young ladies, do not play this game. The best way to get the best response from a man is just to be who you are. If you're a nice person, you're a respectful person, and that's how you were raised then be that. If you're not that person, then a man will decide if he wants to deal with that or not. But playing this game and trying to test people that you really don't even know is a dangerous game to play. And it might be your last one. This video is kind of crazy to me, but I want to know what you guys think about it. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to like the video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're on TikTok. Give me some love over there and uh, follow me. I'd appreciate that. I'm definitely trying to get to this 2000 2000 to uh, K mark as far as uh, followers and subscribers on uh, YouTube. 
So make sure to do that for me if you want. It's all good. <laughs> if you don't, I'd appreciate it. You guys make sure to have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. May the force be with you.